hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be solving tcs nqt shift 1 15 march actual coding question so if you are also going to attempt for your tcs nqt question in future this video is going to be very helpful for you because i will be telling you what was the actual question that came into your exam and how you have to solve them i will be telling you basically different approaches uh, like approaches like your basic approach where we will take uh, the problem and solve it in the basic approach without taking care of the optimal approach or the best case time complexity and we will be seeing other approach where we will solve the problem in the optimal way okay with the most or the best time complexity okay make sure to watch the video till complete end and i will give you the code in all the languages in the description box make sure to check that too before we start the video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos and there is a complete playlist on tcs nqt on my channel make sure to check that too as it is going to be super helpful for you if you are also going to prepare for your tcs nqt examination so without wasting any time let's get started with our code today so let's look at this question that we have given a range m and both are inclusive where 0 is le less than m and n is greater n is also less than equals to 10,000 basically this is the constraint so you don't have to worry about it find the sum of all the integers between m and n okay let's understand what the problem is saying what is the example input and output given to us so the input is given to us as 0 and 3 where 0 is m and n is 3 and output is given as 6 explanation is basically we have to take all the terms from 0 to 3 and 0 all 3 also we have to include and we have to sum all those digits and we have to give the final output okay let's understand in this case our input was 0 and 3 okay so what we will do what are the digits first of all which comes under 0 to 3 okay including 0 and 3 are these digits right so simply what we want to do we want to sum these digits okay 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay and then when you will sum all of these you will get the answer as 6 okay so in this way this is the correct answer for example if you would have got the another digits as 2 to 6 okay what you would do 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay similarly we will just add up all of them 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14 and 14 plus 6 is 20. Okay, so in this way the answer for this one will be 20. Hope you have understood the logic or what the problem is asking. Let's now see how to solve this problem. Now basically guys there are two ways to solve this problems. One is basic approach, okay, where we will follow the loops, okay, and uh, that will give us the answer in basically we go off roughly n time complexity and i will tell you one more way which will give you the answer in big o of one time complexity okay we will see both the solutions one by one okay let's understand this approach first which is basically iterative approach okay or loop based approach we can say what is happening here is uh, we have taken a variable total which is initially equals to zero you can take any variable total sum okay you can even take sum initially as zero and then you can add up the sum in this variable okay let's see what we are doing here we are initializing our i value with m okay m being zero in our case and n being three in our case okay so initially i value will be uh, starting with zero and it will loop till three okay which means we will loop from zero to three okay and what we are doing so initially our total or sum value is zero okay so i will take the variable as total only so total value is zero and what we are doing is total plus i okay so in that our first value is 0 so total plus i will be 0 only 0 plus 0 will be 0 only then what we will do we will increase our i value so i value will be increased to what 1 right so then uh, 0 plus 1 will be 1 similarly i value will be 2 0 plus 2 will be uh, sorry 1 plus 2 will be 3 and then uh, next i value will be 3 and we also have to check every time that our i value does not become greater than n value okay this value so 3 plus 3 is 6 next time when we will go our i value become 4 so we will not enter into the loop we will break out of the loop because this condition is not getting satisfied our condition was that i should be less than or equals to n and our n value is 3 but in this loop n value is going greater than n okay so that is why we will come out of the loop and we will return our total value which we have so at this point our total value will be what 6 so we will just return 6 as the answer and that will be our correct answer 
so in this way this is the normal approach where we are like uh, taking the time complexity big of n roughly or you can say uh, m minus n which is also equivalent to n okay this is a loop based approach if you have no idea in mind how to solve this problem you can follow this approach this is a good approach and you can solve your question using this approach also now let me tell you the other approach in which you can solve it within big o of one time okay basically there is a formula in mathematics okay to find this types of series submission okay where let's take the numbers so where are uh, we have m and n right so in our case we have two values okay so this being m and this being n okay so what we will do is we will simply put these values in this formula and the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 minus m minus 1 into m by 2 okay let's try to put the values in this formula okay so first of all i will take n value which is 3 so 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2 divided by m which is 0 okay so 0 minus 1 into 0 by 2 okay so see what is the answer that we will get 3 into 4 divided by 2 minus so see this one will be totally 0 because see 0 into 0 divided by 2 everything is 0 only so 4 by 3 is 12 by 2 and this is 6 okay so in this way you will also get your answer using this formula also but the condition is that you should remember this formula so if you have not studied it previously or if it is not there in your mind then you can follow the previous approach which was basic approach in which we were uh, you know looping through every element and then finding out the submission but in this approach your answer will be very quick because you know we are doing calculations based on fixed values here we don't have to run any extra loops just based on your variables or uh, the values numerical values that are given to us we can find out the final solution okay and this will calculate your sum in big o of one time which will make it the most optimal way and this is the most optimal solution for this problem okay let's see the code for this one so that you can understand in a better way see what we are doing here we have the input here okay but you don't have to worry about it we will just see the function uh, definition see our function is some range which is expecting two inputs okay that is your m and n okay and being the starting value and being the ending value simply what we are doing uh, we have the formula n into n plus 1 by 2 m minus m into m minus 1 by 2 and we just have to subtract that see this is the formula i'll just show you one again once again n into n plus 1 by 2 minus m minus 1 into uh, m by 2 so what we are doing n into n plus 1 by 2 minus m into m plus 1 by 2 okay so this is your formula and just you have to pass in the values m and n now guys there is no possibility if you have not studied this formula previously then you will directly think of this formula in the examination there is no possibility for that that is why it is very important that you pre prepare yourself for these types of coding questions and let me tell you this question is a easy level question okay uh, not at all a tough level or a medium level also question we cannot say it because uh, you see uh, with basic approach also it is getting solved very easily you just have to iterate over the values and you just have to sum it up and if you have this formula in mind you can f do it in big one one time complexity hope you have understood the uh, you know answers for this one and the explanation of this one if you have any doubts let me know so that's all for today guys i hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on, your, on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off-campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.